Hi guys, how are you today? Here we go again. This is a new question and answer. As I said, if you have any questions, ask me, always write me in the comment below. So we always make videos about all the questions you, uh, you ask. So I give you all the answers you need to help you to become a better hairdresser and colorist. So today I'm going to show you the second method, how to color blonde hair to a brown hair or if you want to go drop more than two levels. As we know, when we lift the hair, we are removing the pigment of the hair. So when we're going from brown to blonde, there is underlying pigment. There is underlying pigment under the color we see with our eyes. Under brown, we have red. And under blonde, we have yellow. Yes, without those color, yellow, without the yellow, we don't have gold, we don't have blonde. Without red, we don't have brown. So this is the underlying pigment and the existing color we see, okay? So uh, in the previous video, if you go uh, to the second video I uh, uploaded, I answered the first uh, method we can color uh, brown on blonde. We know if we deposit uh, blonde directly on uh, um, uh, brown on blonde what's gonna happen the hair can turn muddy gray ugly and can turn green too okay so we need to be careful if you like the mannequin I have here and this gorgeous Sally here if you like all my mannequins I will leave you in the comment below the link for my mannequins and we ship them anywhere around the world okay guys so check them out and I have a membership too, Colors and Cut. If you want, check it out too. I will leave you the link in uh, the description end of the video. So, uh, now what we going to do as a second method. The first one, you can go back and watch it. I will leave you uh, the link the, in the end of the video up on uh, the right on the screen. So, this is the second method today. What we are going to do, before we color uh, blonde, we need to put the underlying pigment back in the hair. So, the second method, which I'm going to show you today, we want to color light brown natural. Can I deposit light brown natural on, on blonde? No, directly no, we cannot do that. As I said, the hair can turn green or gray, muddy, ugly color. Uh, so, the first thing we're going to do, I'm going to give you an example. So, let's say this hair needs 40 grams in color in total to color it from root strands. Just as example. We are using here demi-permanent color. I'm using color uh, touch from Wella. You can use any color you want in your country, whatever brand you have, it's the same. And then my permanent, we know one to two ratio, which means every gram I use from color, I have to use two grams of developer, okay? So if I'm using 40 grams of colors, that means I need to use 80 grams of developers. So in total, we have 120 grams, okay? One to two ratio. So I will give you an easy formula. We are going to take 40 grams of color, the brown. Can we take 40 grams of 5-0? No, we cannot do that. So we'll take 30 grams of 5-0, which the light brown natural. This is 30 grams. And we are going to do here. We have 5-4, which light brown red, and we have 6-4, which dark uh, blonde red, okay? We have 7-4, which medium blonde red. Here we go. So I need the red. I need the red to go back in the hair. So this is very important. So the 10 grams, I will add the 6-4 or the 5-4. You can do any one of those, no problem. So because I want the red, the four after the, the slash, whatever you see, okay? So this is what I want. So I will add 10 grams of 6-4 or 5-4. So here I have the red 
in the formula. Then I will add uh, the developer 10 or uh, volume or five vo volume, doesn't matter what you're using, and we mix them all together. After we do that, then we apply it to the hair. Then because and I added the red and the formula, now the hair won't turn green. Then I will add a process for like 20 minutes, 25 minutes, depend on the factory and the brand you, uh, you're uh, using, they will let you know on, on the box, like let it process for 20 minutes or 25 minutes based on the brand, as I mentioned, and then let it full process. After that, you can go rinse the hair, wash it, finish, dry it, style it, and here you go. You have a gorgeous light brown without any green tone in it, any grayish, muddy, ugly, it was uh, any mistake. When we take the underlying pigment out, when we lift the hair and we go back down, we need to take this underlying pigment in. We take it back in the hair. We remove it when we light the hair. We, when we go down, we have to put it back in. If we don't do that, that color won't hold on the hair because the underlying pigment, the support pigment under the color we see, it's not there, so there is a gap in the shaft of the hair. There is a gap in the hair, in the layers of the hair. So the color won't hold, okay? And it's gonna turn into a mess. So now you know how to color blonde hair to a darker shade, whatever shade you want to do. Now you know the process. So let me know in the comment below what you think of this video. If you have uh, other questions, please, mention those questions in the comment below so I make more videos and I help you to become a better hairstylist and better colorist. As I mentioned, if you like my mannequins or you wanna check out my membership, all in the description below end of the video. So check them out and I see you in a new video, new question, new answer and ciao for now.